Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I got a quick question. Who told them they could do that? Oh, you don't know who I'm talking about? Oh, I'm talking about the courts. Who told them that they could do that? Let me show you what they're doing. This is for California. This is the California style manual. California style manual. Look at that. When a surname contains an intermediate capital, i.e., they're going to explain to you what they mean by intermediate capital, what they prefix that is equivalent to the, as in they, like la, de, forest, okay, or son of MacDonald, Bin Laden, the initial letter is a full capital. The rest of the prefix is in small capital letters. Ah, oh, look at that. Laymar, Dave Forrest, MacDonald. Use this form regarding whether the surname is written as one or two words. Do not use personal degrees or titles in opinion titles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the court style manual. This is someone saying, hey, clerk, this is what y'all going to do from now on. When y'all doing a caption, this is how you're going to do the caption. Now, let's find out what section this is under. Now, this is on page 239. Well, 239. Okay. Anyway, of the actual document. I'm looking to see general rules. These are general rules. Look, opinion title is an important informal aid for noting the type of proceeding and identifying the parties and their roles in the litigations. It is not necessary, necessarily an index of all the parties. A complete description of each party's status as executor, trustee, etc., or as a definitive statement of each party's respective litigation position as plaintiff or defendant, cross-defendant, appellant, etc., Generally, the appellant opinion, the appellate, excuse me, opinion title identifies parties appearing before the reviewing court, parties who will be affected by the reviewing court's judgment, or parties whose identification is essential to understanding the action. While the primary purposes, pur 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 purposes of this chapter is to assist court staff and reporter of decisions office, the official report published in styling titles, these rules are also intended to assist attorneys. Why are they trying to assist attorneys? In filing appellate briefs and papers with proper style appellate titles. In contrast, the appellate titles in a complaint in the trial court must include the names of all parties. But in the subsequent pleadings or other filings, it is sufficient to state the name of the first party on each side with an appropriate indicator of other parties. Wait, hold on. Can we see what that looks like so that y'all can see that this is what the pattern is? Hold on. This is the petition for the enforcement of administrative order. This is the captions where you just, you only have to put the first party's names and the other party's name. You don't have to put everybody, but this is the initial presentment, not pleading. Don't want to do pleadings. Pleadings is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Anyway, types of titles. Look at this. So, ladies and gentlemen, where did they get the authority? Where did they get the authority to put your name as they choose? Now, you notice here, they put the name in upper lowercase. But down here, they say we're going to put them in all capital letters. Not here, but here. Right there. See, all capital letters. See, let's do that. I'm going to do capitals because I think they might be talking about it someplace else. I just put all capitals because I knew that it would say that, dude. For initial capitals in annotated cases, so we don't care about that. Initial capital letters, uh, articles, capitals. If so, change the capitalization of the initial capital letters. Oh, let's see if this is what we're looking for. That's not what we're looking for, Chief. Hold on now. When using initial capitals as part of the heading of a subheading, covering the article, the blah, 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 corresponding, blah, 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 murder rule, felony murder rule. There's a rule on murder? Oh, Lord, have mercy. I got to follow the rules then for murder. Sorry. One second. 
I got to go find something. Small capitals, we just was here. We just was here, so it just brought us back to one. It's like a dream come true, y'all. It's what it means to me. It's plain to see that I'm the only one for me and repeat steps one, two, three, and all right. So ladies and gentlemen, as we showed you before, the court's use of all caps name, there is no authority for the courts to take and use the all caps name. They say that they get to do their administrative courts, however, the, they won't. No, they do not. <sighs> You can't do pleadings. Oh, let me give you the definition of all of this. Y'all got to hold on one second. Hold on now. Okay, we're going to make this quick because there's a couple of things that I tried to do a video yesterday and it didn't take. Um, I guess the information, they didn't want me giving that to y'all because I really did try. It said it took, but it didn't take. You know what I'm saying? Now look, here's the definition of plea in Black's Law Dictionary. I need y'all to pay attention to the definition of plea. Plea, an answer or formal statement made by a party in the course of a case, okay, admitting, denying, or confessing, and avoiding the allegation of opposing party. It is a formal manner in which a party to a cause in court enters an appearance and submits to the jurisdiction of the court. That's what appearance means. Submitting to the jurisdiction of the court. So you don't want to plea to the court. You guys don't understand, don't you? That's how the court gets jurisdiction is when you plea. So by using pleading papers, the paper with the number lines along the side, that's called pleading paper. The reason why they call it pleading is because they are documenting that you're submitting to the jurisdiction of the court. Now remember, this is an old understanding because we went through, well, let's show you. Pay attention. The problem is, according to the definition of pleadings, wit is supposed to be which title takes the word of plea, the notes. Uh, it's supposed to be the notes. So let me do that. Getting the D, 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 D. This is, this is D notes, a submitting of oneself to the jurisdiction of the court. The court, please explain where such is required by the constitutional right to access the court to petition for redress of agreement uh, of grievance it's supposed to be grievance to receive due process of law to receive pro equal protection of law according to the law now hold on we take notice of the following here's the definition for plea in black's law dictionary four six eight and ten editions the fourth edition this was the basic simple plea a former answer to a charge made against a person in a court of justice. That was it. That was the definition. Now, look at that. 1990. <coughs> Why did the definition change from 1968 to 1990? So, former answer to a charge with a person in court admitting, denying, confessing, and avoiding allegations. Now, they add confessing and avoiding. But we, we ain't going to stop there. Let's go 14 more years. See, you see the difference right there? That's 30, almost 30 years, 28 years. Now we have, pay attention, 14 years. The form, a formal answer to the charge allegation, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, it is the formal manner in which a party to a cause in a court enters an appearance and submits to the court's jurisdiction. So why did they change it? That doesn't make any sense. Look at how long, 14 years. And that's what it did. It took all of you and made you akin to corporations. We've already done the case law, showing you the case law where, or excuse me, case text, showing you where the courts have documented that the all caps name was a practice by the states. So you just tell the court, I'm, I'm sorry, it's confusing. What y'all doing? Now, I will tell you, I saw a video on TikTok. TikTok! Not TikTok. Uh, what's the name of that stupid thing? Telegram. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw a video on Telegram, and a gentleman was talking about how he goes in the court with two books. I thought he was going to say the Bible and the Constitution or something like that. that I, I, I didn't think he was going to say what he said because he was right on the money. Since he goes in the court with 
two books, Black's Law Dictionary and the English Dictionary. And ask the court, hey, uh, which one of these are we using today? Hey, guess what? I told you, the courts, it's a different language. And if they're speaking a different language, you have a right to a translator. So, But they can't put that on the record that they're speaking a different language because that would overturn so many cases. And it says usually the case goes away. Oops. Now, I bring it up in every case. I bring it up in all of my petitions because I tell people that's the way you get an appeal. And just like they did here in California, they will never directly respond to my petition, but they will get rid of the case. They will come up with some excuse as to why they got rid of the case. You just got to know what you're doing. All right, look, I got to go. I just wanted to show you all that about the all caps name and how they do it. Okay? Y'all has a good day. We almost got it, y'all. I got to get this thing to pull up like that. Oh, it went away. Come on back. All right, y'all have a good day.